Good morning, guys. This is Michelle in Michelle's garden. And yes, I'm in my garden. I'm out here trying to dodge all these Japanese beetles. Sitting on my little cart here, just watching them fly around. We're going to talk about cantaloupes today. Hope you guys like cantaloupes. The first cantaloupe that I ever grew in a garden, it's been a few years back. And I think I only got like maybe two or three cantaloupes out of that garden and they were very small. I didn't know much about growing them, fertilizing them, that they needed a lot of water. But when I got one out of there and ate it, it was like eating candy. It was so sweet. It was so full of flavor. And uh, I don't know what the difference is between how they grow the cantaloupes that you buy in the grocery store to versus the ones in the garden, but it always seems like everything tastes better out of your garden, doesn't it? <clears throat> Let me try to turn around here and show you what my cantaloupes look like. They're almost like a cantaloupe jungle. Um, I was trying to grow them vertically, and oops, I'm running over one of the vines. <laughs> Um, I was trying to grow them vertically, and they more or less just grew out more than up. So let's take a look at this. Can you see that? That is one jungle, cantaloupe jungle. I'm going to try to get in here and see if I can show you guys a couple of these cantaloupes. I think there might be one here on the end. Oh yeah, there's one. I got some bunny rabbits down in here that are just sitting here guarding. There's one. Gosh, guys, look at all these cantaloupes in here. And there's one. There's one. I mean, they, they're just loaded. There's one. Unbelievable. I haven't been out here checked them in a while, so I didn't even realize there was that many on the vine. So I was doing a little bit of research about cantaloupe. Try to get over here in some shade. Get get some shade from the green beans. <laughs> um, some of the information that I was reading about cantaloupe, some of the fun facts and uh, maybe where they originated because I always like to look up the history of where my food comes from There's a Japanese beetle coming at me um, I had read that the ancient Romans and uh, Egyptians grew cantaloupes, so um, They've been growing for people been growing them for a really long time and Let's see what else did I read? Um, I read that in Australia, they're called the rock melon. Um, they got their name. This is very interesting. The name of the cantaloupe came from Cantalupo, Italy, uh, back in the 17, 1800s, I think, when they were cultivating them over there, and that's what they called them. Now, I don't know what the ancient Egyptians and Romans called them, but that was the only information that I could find as far as where the name came from. Um, they're packed full of vitamins. They've got vitamin A, uh, that, which uh, vitamin A, uh, if you ever heard grandma say, eat your carrots because they're good for your eyes. Um, the cantaloupes fall in that category too. The orange flesh, uh, they've got beta carotene in them. Um, they are very high in vitamin C. 337% of the melon is vitamin C. So if you cut up a cup of cantaloupe, um, you have 95% of your vitamin C for the day. They're high in potassium. Potassium is good for your heart. It's uh, potassium lowers your cholesterol, which is heart healthy. And they also have vitamin B9, which is also known as folate, which um, if uh, in a pregnancy, that's what uh, pregnant women need for like the first few weeks of their pregnancy. So cantaloupe's good for that. Um, what else did I read about a cantaloupe? Okay, the number one producer of cantaloupes in the world is China. 
would not have ever guessed that. Um, California in the United States grows 75% of the cantaloupes in our country. So that's all the fun facts for cantaloupes. Now, if you want to grow a cantaloupe here in Zone 7B, um, I still have 103 growing days. So uh, cantaloupes take about 85 days to uh, harvest. So I still have time to grow more cantaloupes. Um, if you're in a similar area where you still have about 80 days or more, you can... Um, grow you some cantaloupes and uh, they're, they're just very healthy very healthy fruit oh it's a little bit hot out here guys so uh, make sure you give them plenty of water they are uh, a heavy feeder um, I was fertilizing mine with uh, liquid seaweed that's an organic fertilizer I got it from Amazon uh, fertilize it like every two weeks, you know, just like a, if you get one of those little plastic things that comes on top of, little plastic cup that comes on top of, say, uh, cough syrup or something you get from the drugstore, just take that and pour one cup full in a gallon of water, and that's what I watered my plants with. Of course, now I have a whole row, you know, I don't think you want to pour the whole gallon on one plant, but but you know, you could like mix that up and you could just use that every time you water. So that's everything I have to tell you about cantaloupes for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. But uh, before I go, I wanted to share something with you. Um, I was reading in the book of Hebrews this morning and my Bible has some side notes in it that uh, just made me think a little bit about, um, first of all, the last place that Jesus went to before he was crucified was to a garden. <clears throat> I don't know if that garden was a vegetable garden, a flower garden, a fruit tree garden, but nonetheless it was a garden. And um, so some of my side notes was talking about to plant a seed which is the Word, the Word of God is your seed, um, your soil would be your spirit. So you're planting that seed in your spirit when you're reading the Word. And when you meditate on it and read it out loud, that's watering your, your seed. And what grows from all that is your faith. And your harvest from all that is the fruit of the Spirit, which is love and peace and joy. And you also will have prosperity and healing uh, good health, you know, not to say that Christians don't go through troubles or anything like that, but I just want to encourage you today to, if you haven't planted the seed, to plant your seed in your spirit, which is your word, and if, you're, um, if your seed needs watering, take time today in your busy life and just read a verse. That's all you have to do. Just read a verse and read it out loud, and that will be watering your spiritual garden. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to go inside and do some chores I have inside. So I'll see you next time from Michelle's Garden.